Hey guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel. I'm back with a Disney inspired tiny house today and I am super excited to announce that today's video is sponsored by Disney Emoji Blitz. Now make sure to pay attention to this part because not only are you gonna be able to download this game for free in the description down below, but I'm also hosting a giveaway for some uh, expansion packs for The Sims 4. Disney Emoji Blitz is unlike any other match three game on the market. Since each emoji has their own special power-ups and you get to choose which ones you use, it adds this whole new level of strategy to the game in every single game you play. If you're a collector or a completionist like myself, you're really gonna enjoy the deep collection of Disney, Pixar, and Star Wars characters with new characters being added every week and month. There's new emojis in different categories, including silver, gold, and rainbow exclusives, plus story and villain characters. My favorite emoji to use has to be Genie. I mean, just look at him. I love him so much. You can use the emojis you earn in game to send to your friends and be like, look what I got and kind of compare or maybe have some friendly competition there. And exclusively for this video, if you download using the link in my description down below, three random players will receive the following emojis. Meg, Aurora, Cinderella, and Tiana. In addition, that link does act as a creator code. So anything you spend in game will help support me. And one last thing, I'm also giving away a couple of packs for The Sims 4 of your choice for PC and Mac. All you need to do is download the game with my link in the description down below. Hit level three, screenshot it, and send that to me over on Twitter. My handle is Miss Griffey over there, and you'll be entered to win a pack of your choice for The Sims 4. Thank you to Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the speed build. <laughs> Alrighty then, welcome back to another installment of The Squish. Today I am building a Disney inspired tiny castle. Uh, this is very inspired by like Cinderella's castle at the theme parks. And this one has been on my to-do list for a while. I've gotten a ton of suggestions from you guys to either build the castle, build a tiny version of the castle, do Disney princess tiny homes. And I'm very interested in all of them. Uh, but I thought we would start here. I just kind of wanted a vague princess look plus kind of inspired by Cinderella and uh, to see what I could come up with that and then ask you guys if you were interested in having some uh, Disney princess tiny homes in the future. And if so, what princesses would you like to see? Because I think that sounds like a really fun idea and it gives me an excuse to watch some more Disney movies and um, I would like that. Uh, but anyway, I really wanted to have this little tower piece up here that was just supported by a bunch of these decorative bits. And I do change it up a little bit in a while. I was experimenting quite a bit. And when I raised the level here, there was this gap, which obviously is frustrating because I spent so long placing down those pieces. But then I was like, you know what? That could be kind of cool. We can make it look like the wall on top extends a little bit lower so we could have like a part of the house that is a in-between level, almost like split leveling on the second floor that goes down into the first floor. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm raising up these little brick pieces from the debug catalog from Show Live Edit Objects to connect this section of the tower and make it look a little bit more connected, I suppose. I ended up putting a lot of details on the outside of this because it's such a small structure and the blue roof I was just very excited about because I don't know if I've ever <laughs> used that swatch, but obviously that is a pretty iconic look from the Disney parks anyway. Uh, so that's something that I did want to include in this. And actually the roof ended up being a really fun part of this build. I have this little window bit and a bunch of pokey bits. Um, that's what I'm gonna call them. I know they have names, but I'm gonna call them the pokey bits. <laughs> Uh, so I have a bunch of pointy things coming out of the roof in blue and gold. I also found this bridge in Show Live Edit Objects. I think it came with the University World. And I just thought it was so pretty and magical and felt very princess-like. So I did put that out in front of this little castle. I tried adding some of these fences up on the top level. I played around with windows, trying to decide which ones I wanted to use. I was playing around with both University Windows and Strangerville ones. And I think I used a combination of them in the end. The top level has Strangerville and then the bottom level has the ones from University. And I also put a ton of columns all over this build just to add a little bit more detail. And it was really cool because a lot of the items and, you know, build assets I used in this build are ones I don't typically use because 
this more traditional like princessy I, I don't know <laughs> castle vibe is not is not my personal aesthetic so it's not something I go for very often I feel like get famous really helped out with this especially on the interior I used a very luxurious bed and some of the bathroom stuff from that pack and I just it was really fun to do something a little bit different and it's very pink and blue throughout as well which was a fun color scheme to work with. I decided to put a pool under the bridge. So uh, your Sims could de definitely swim in this. I wanted it to kind of look like a river or a pond and I could have used the pond tool or it's not the pond tool, it's the fountain tool. But uh, I thought it'd be cool if your Sims could actually swim in it too. Why not make it a little bit more functional instead of just decorative, so. That's what we did there. I also used a bit of romantic garden stuff, which is so pretty. That's what that piece in the back is, working on some of the landscaping and terrain paints. I really enjoyed using some of these trees and bushes that are way more sculpted as well, because those are definitely something I don't use at all. Uh, I thought that the, that looked very princess-esque. I was looking at pictures not only from various movies, but also of the actual parks and definitely was inspired by that. So I wanted more structured landscaping than anything, getting some rocks through the water uh, and some more plants. I also have this beautiful fountain that's filled with plants from Romantic Garden stuff in the entryway and a bunch of lights throughout as well so that this place lights up nicely at nighttime. I really wanted it to look magical and here I am adding even more columns. I'm changing them all to white. So that top tower bit is pink. But it's not so overwhelmingly pink because the columns are splitting it up, getting some more rocks to line the edge of this lot so it doesn't look so awkward just like the terrain paint ending. And then I decided to get another bump out out the back so that we could have more livable space. This is very much a tiny house though, like <laughs> it's it's not, it, it has luxurious items in it, but it's very squished. Like you walk in and it's like the bedroom, kitchen, are all in the same spot. There's a separate bathroom. Also, please don't turn this uh, pumpkin around because there's a cat face on it. But uh, I thought it'd be kind of cute to try and make, like try and make the carriage from Cinderella that was made from the pumpkin. So this is a really silly thing to do, but on the bridge, I have a white pumpkin turned around. Like I said, ignore the cat face. And then I put some bikes through it to add wheels. I think it's kind of goofy, but I was very excited about doing that. So I hope you guys like it. Anyway, moving to the interior now, I decided to repaint the walls and the floors to make them a little bit more luxurious instead of just like castle floors and walls. I wanted this to be, you know, a happy ending for this princess, even though this is a very small space. I still think it's pretty luxurious. And I also think that Realm of Magic came in handy here. I feel like the appliances and the counters just were so perfect for what I was going for. I'm still sad that a lot of the more recent cabinet or counters have not come with matching cabinets though. Uh, but luckily the vampires ones worked fine here, but uh, still really, really wanting some <laughs> new cabinets as well. Adding some flowers. Oh, and some shelves on the side of the cabinets over here to add some more clutter. I end up having a candy jar, some stuff for cooking, a pile of plates, and then a painting of a butterfly. I tried to add a couple of subtle nods to like Cinderella's relationship with like animals and stuff. So we have a butterfly photo. I will be getting like a little bunny on the counter a little bit later. There is a mouse hole in the wall. We will also be adding later. And then some stuff outside for birds. So there's a bird feeder and a bird bath. Uh, and then I was grabbing these herbs to put above the sink. I thought that that looked really pretty in the window there. And uh, just, just a little nature little nature in here and obviously I would imagine you might use some of that stuff for cooking as well getting a little towel by the sink and that's pretty much this kitchen area other than like the bunny I had mentioned and we actually end up adding a hen as well uh, but that ends up being on top of one of the cabinets we should be grabbing that yeah this guy I or this lady <laughs> I don't think I've ever used that particular item before I forgot it existed also I think it's really weird that the rabbit there's one from base game and then the exact same item with different swatches is in parenthood and I don't know why it's in parenthood. It, it, it has a different name and I don't know what its purpose is. But look at this luxurious bed from Get Famous. It's so pretty. I thought about having a blue swatch but it just didn't fit properly. So we have this pink and gold option here which worked nicely because of the gold accents on the fridge and then I'm using this table in the middle here. 
which I also never use. I've always, for some reason, associated these chairs with Cinderella, and I don't know why. Like, I don't use them because I'm like, people don't have Cinderella chairs in their houses, but since this was that theme, it was perfect. <laughs> so I did use those. Let me know if you guys agree on the things that I am associating here or if anyone else like never uses those chairs and all that sorts of stuff. Um, but moving on into the bathroom, I needed a clawfoot tub, of course. Those beautiful towels that are from Get Famous. The rug is from Vampires. And then I think that's a Get Famous sink, but we use the toilet from Realm of Magic, I think. I don't know, I'm getting the, the packs confused. Realm of Magic has some really fancy stuff and so does Get Famous, but they kind of work together. I guess I could have used the Realm of Magic sink because it's, it's a bird and that would make sense. Uh, but anyway, just adding some more curtains throughout the space. I got some flowers that I'll be adding on the table and there was that mouse hole I added. I wanted to make sure the little mice had a place to go. And uh, that, that's pretty much the downstairs space other than uh, a painting on the wall over here. And then upstairs doesn't have much to it. I just put an easel up there so there was something functional to do. And I imagine like Cinderella could be up here like painting the birds that fly by and all that sorts of stuff. I thought that that would be pretty cute. And then just adding the bird feeders and uh, the, the little bird bath outside as well. And then we're going to be heading on into screenshots. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications to so be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And thank you again to Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring today's video. Remember, you can download the game in the description down below with my link and uh there's also all of the details you need if you would like to be entered to win a pack for the sims 4 enjoy the screenshots bye everybody